We got here recording. All right, y'all. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just record me when I'm grabbing it, and then when I'm putting it on here. Okay. So uh, yeah, the behind the scenes, video, like, behind the scenes footage. Behind the scenes footage right here. So I'm gonna be the first one to cast the vote Where's on my own child. Okay. Okay. Whether it's a female or male. Okay. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. I think I know which one it is. <laughs> I think, without any circumstantial evidence. Oh my lord. <laughs> He's picking girl. Did you write your name on it? So Grab one of these bad boys. Okay. All right. This is completely contradicting the situation. But okay. All right, and that's good. That's good. Show, show your wristband, bro. Oh yeah, baby. There we go. Even though he's wearing the blue. <laughs> hey, I'm a man. So. <laughs> setting up. Hopefully, it's not too bright, but we're setting up the tic-tac-toe game. So pretty much what they're gonna do is they're gonna go ahead, flip open. They have these cards, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna one by one flip it, and whatever lines up first is gonna be what it is. So I'm the one who knows, so I'm setting it up. Everybody else has, is gonna be surprised. I already filmed my reaction, so um, anyway, let's go ahead and set this up real quick. All right guys, so we just got all the uh, things on. So essentially, they're gonna flip it over and uh, whichever one gets in a row first uh, reveals the gender. So it's super bright out here. The sun is right over there. So you can kind of see through it on camera. You can't pick it up, but in person uh, you can see through it. So we're going to put a little like tarp thing over it real quick. And then uh, we'll take off the tarp when everybody's ready. And hopefully it'll be a little bit shadier by then. Uh, so that is the plan. But this is kind of how it's looking like. It's on a nice little arch. It's just really bright, so hopefully it's not this bright when we're doing the reveal. <laughs> Real quick, I have to tell you guys something. So, turn the top left one last. So, top that one last. This one, one up here, right? Yeah. Do that one last, okay? Okay, thank you. Oh, my heart hurts. <laughs> so, open all the Whoa, bro, look at the chin around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no! Paparazzi! No, no, no. Don't let it, don't let it hit. Oh, no! Oh, no! Is that a sign? Oh, no, don't let it hit. Don't let it hit. We got that in, just one at a time, one at a time. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, like this. Okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? There we go. <laughs> okay. So is it majority or what is it? No, it's in a row. So it goes for a row. It has to be three in a row. Three in a row. Yellow, no, yellow, no. Yellow, my heart is hurting. <laughs> I mean, the odds aren't looking good for him. <laughs> but you know what? Oh. Oh. Almost, almost. 
Time out and get some free labor here coming soon. <laughs> what do you think, Johnny? I'm excited for you. See, I, I don't have to put my videos anymore now. <laughs> so, yeah, man, so it's a girl. We'll figure out uh, what we're gonna do next. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you can just start a baby. It is loud, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's the Drake music at? <laughs> and about a few months later, guys, uh, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm figuring out that I have a boy on the way, and he's due in about two months, which is kind of insane. And uh, honestly, when I always thought about the thing, it's like, Okay, well, you know, I'm over here providing for my wife and I'm being a good husband and, you know, she's bringing the baby and, you know, she gets to stay home, yada, yada. My mentality was always my entire life. I'm like, I feel like I'm doing my part. But honestly, after seeing what my wife has been going through the past couple of months, and honestly, it's very, very, very tough. I've just been really feeling really, really, really bad. Um, she's obviously very excited, um, but obviously you can't help yourself but feel bad because um, they go through a lot of emotions. They go through a lot of uh, just, just random um, things in their life during the, the pregnancy stage. And uh, I, it just, I, I can't help myself but feel bad. But also so thankful that she's going through this for both of us because I'm very, very, very excited to have a little mini Noor here on the channel, which is kind of insane. Um, and not even just on the channel, but just in my life. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, that's actually one of the reasons why I actually built this E91M3 because we were planning on having a kid. And how cool is it that my first kid is a boy, which is pretty crazy. So we're gonna have the E91M3 when he's old enough to be taking him in school in an M3 wagon that's hopefully gonna be fully dialed in by that point in his life. Um, that's again, why I'm keeping this car to kind of give you guys um, a better like realistic thing when I tell you guys I'm gonna keep this car I'm gonna keep this car like I plan on buying a bunch of supercars and things like that down the road but for now this beautiful m3 is here to stay and uh, yeah that's besides the point of today's video today's video is talking about how I can actually give something to my wife she very much deserves anything and everything that I can give her now honestly I was doing some research on what exactly I should get her I was thinking about either it's like some gold or maybe some nice shoes and things like that, then I was like, this woman's been carrying my son for months and she will continue to do so and then also have a very hard delivery um, because that's just how life is. Um, and you know, a pair of shoes ain't really gonna cut it. <laughs> so I was thinking, what can I do exactly to make this girl happy, to make her feel honestly, just a very, you know, just a lot of emotions going through her and stuff like that. Just make her really, really, really happy. And also at the same time, give her an asset in her life um, to where, you know, she can use that asset in any way that she wants, um, whatever she wants. The thing is about shoes and other stuff like that those things can eventually go bad and end up throwing it away and you know it doesn't really bring you any value other than like I guess um, status I guess you could say I have these very expensive heels I have these very expensive shoes I have this very expensive purse yada 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 we're not at that point in our lives where we're around people that really care about that stuff I mean obviously um, there's people that care about this stuff all over the place but are we really around people um, that like our friend zone that really care about that stuff and it really just doesn't matter to me doesn't matter to my wife as much either so again I was kind of thinking you know a fruit basket you're like no nah, come on you're not gonna do that so long story short to kind of get you guys on the same page as me um i'm doing what any other youtuber can, uh, would logically do and uh that is getting her a new car and i mean literally um it's not in the i'm gonna be as i'm always like being transparent with you guys as much as possible when starting this business right now i am as broke as i've ever been i'm not gonna lie but at the same time it is my job to provide it is my job to make sure that she's happy and it's my job to make sure she is 
safe. So that being said, not only her and my son, um, I'm deciding to buy her a brand new car, uh, which is gonna be pretty insane. I will have to figure out the whole payment thing uh, and the down payment, but we'll figure that out obviously together. So. <laughs> she is honestly like my number one supporter. I'm not gonna lie guys. Currently in my bank account, I probably have a few hundred bucks to my name and uh, on my credit card, I, I don't wanna talk about that because I'm trying to inspire people. That's, that's kind of on a negative standpoint. But the thing is, sometimes in life, you have to reinvest a lot of your money and money from the bank uh, to, go, to go into your dreams and hoping that this will work out. And this is obviously like something that I've been stressing my wife out so much with, but she has faith in me, she believes in me, and hopefully this will turn out to the better and hopefully this will all make sense in hopefully a year or two, um, just as of right now. I'm not gonna lie, things are kind of rough, but I, again, I'm just so blessed that I have a wife like her that's supportive, that's sticking around, um, that's never gonna leave me. And you know, someone like that is honestly just such wifey material. I absolutely love her. Um, she's honestly like the wife of my dreams that she's gonna be bringing me a son, which is honestly such a blessing. Hopefully everything goes smooth with that. I mean, I, I've been praying and again, I, you, you, all you can do is just pray and be thankful and hope for the best at this point. A lot of things can happen and you just wanna be positive and you just wanna be uh, just, you know, thankful because these blessings can easily be taken away from you and I just wanna say I'm just very, 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 very thankful. So that being said, uh, in order to get the funds to get pretty much a down payment on a new car, I had to figure out a few different options. There's SUVs, that which, which is what a lot of women get uh, when they get married. I mean, when they actually deliver a child, they get like an, you know, a Range Rover, a G-Wagon, um, an Urus, stuff like that. Your man ain't balling like that. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have that kind of money, nor do I have the money for the maintenance on those cars. I probably can get a very, very, very used one, but then 100,000 miles, have a lot of issues. They're like 30, 40 grand, like for a 2015 with like 100,000 miles. So can I afford it just yet? No, no, not unless I sell my R8 and not unless I actually sell my E91 M3. The R8 is my dream car and the M3 is a forever car. So uh, I can't sell any of those. So I'm kind of working within the budget of something for a daily for her. Um, so currently I do have my truck, which we're using for the business. And I do have my i3, which I'm using for my daily commuting. So to kind of fill you guys in with the plan, Basically, I'm selling the truck to the business, so that kind of helps me out with that. And then the i3, I'm gonna be selling it to someone else. And uh, that should give me enough money to kind of whip together a good enough down payment to where the payments are not too crazy on a, uh a Tesla. I feel like I feel like that's something she has warranty for the next 10 years on, which is gonna be pretty crazy. We have a California warranty, it's like 10 year, 150,000 mile warranty, bumper to bumper through Tesla. Um, the car is a brand new car. Um, she's gonna be able to spec, I mean, I already kind of know her spec, so I kind of want to surprise her with it. Um, so I'm kind of gonna get the spec that I feel like she's gonna like, and then, uh, you know, just just surprise her with it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've never ever been a person to ever say, hey, buying a new car makes sense, because it really doesn't. Uh, but with Tesla right now, because they're releasing the new Tesla, they're, they're making a lot of like, like savings. Like there is a $500 savings just by having someone refer you. Um, and that person that refers you can get you a free charger, a $500 charger. And at the same time, there's a tax incentive going on uh, that's $7,500 um, that, you know, I'm gonna have to figure out how that's gonna work exactly, but that's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, and that's gonna give me a huge discount on the car. And not to mention the cars right now, brand new, are $4,000 knocked off, like right off the get-go. So that being said, guys, there's a lot of incentives, a lot of savings for a brand new car with a lot Lot of good warranty in America and the whole world is backing up EVs right now because they want to promote it. So I just think, you know, for something that I could get her and not have to worry about other, anything other than the payment, and I know just she's good. It even has roadside assistance for the next five years. If anything happens to that car, Tesla offers a free roadside assistance with their brand new Teslas for the next five years. Um, so I just know my wife is safe in it. I'm not, I mean, this honestly sounds like a promotion, but it's honestly just that good. Um, and based off of other cars I've seen, if I buy her the car, I'm probably gonna have a lot more issues with it um, in terms of reliability, because it's gonna be like 100,000 miles, a used car. And honestly, I've been following the used market on Teslas, and at 28, Tesla is only like a 2018 Tesla Model 3 with like a hundred thousand miles is only 10 grand less than a brand new Tesla that's five years newer that's actually still within the warranty period um, obviously it's a brand new car with zero miles on it and I can get the spec that she wants for only 10 grand more so I say only 10 grand more not that I have a 10 grand that's why I'm going to be doing the financing thing but uh, long story short I think it's gonna be a little something a little bit different at the same time I'm gonna be trying to modify on this YouTube channel for her um, 
So yeah, I just think it's different. I just think it's pretty cool. It's literally a tablet on wheels. It's just a little bit, you know, I feel like a lot of BMW people also like the car. They hate to admit it, but I mean, it is kind of a cool car. And honestly, it's a great daily. So uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So as sporadic and as crazy as that sounds, um, that's our mission in the next, I would say week, is to try to get that surprise with it and uh, you know, just make her day, make her year, make her month, whatever it is. Um, she just deserves it. And I wanna make sure she's in something um, that not only she's safe but also my child's safe um, they have really good crash ratings um, and just a bunch of good stuff so that being said the i3 um, the car that I've been daily driving the car I put 20,000 miles on in less than I would say literally I think 11 months I put 20,000 miles on this car this car has honestly been such a beaut it has depreciated a lot which is kind of unfortunate but I drove 20,000 miles for the most part pretty reliably you guys saw him recently I put brand new tires on it I have the unlimited oil change service with BMW um, so this thing pretty much other than like the unlimited oil services the brand new tires and right now we're about to install some brake pads because my front brake light came on brand new oem brake pads um for the i3 it's going to be pretty much ready for the next owner to drive probably another 50 to 100 000 miles on i bought this i3 for twenty two thousand dollars. honestly it was a lot of money out the door literally 11 months ago the ev market has completely dropped um and it's kind of a good time to buy kind of a suckyish time to sell but if i if i sell this at a you know a loss i can get a new one at a much discounted rate it just kind of makes sense and uh you know again it, it, there's multiple reasons to why this is all going down so yeah in the next couple of days the goal is is to fully get this thing cleaned up i mean exterior fully polished up interior fully cleaned out and get all the service lights and everything squared away on this car for a new owner so i'm gonna be listing this 2017 clean title um bmw i3 um i believe for 13.5 um again i bought it for 22 35 i think is very reasonable in 11 month time frame um it has 125,000 miles on it currently. Um, and again, brand new tires, unlimited oil change service with BMW for another two years left on that. Um, it's gonna have brand new brakes. That's literally all you have to do to it for another 50 to 100,000 miles. It has built-in Apple CarPlay. Well, we installed the Apple CarPlay on this car. It has the bigger infotainment system. So for any guys locally that have been looking for an electric car for the low low that has everything done on it, make sure to hit me up on my Instagram. Um, again, probably 13.5 is my listing price. Uh, I probably have a little bit of wiggle room, but because of how much I've lost already and how much money I've spent on it, probably not gonna go down any further. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and take guys on the journey of getting this car fully squared away getting it sold and getting my wife a beautiful brand new tesla model 3 very excited for that and of course we're gonna have to get her reaction this could be pretty crazy i'm not gonna lie she does know something big is gonna be happening um so that's kind of you know out of question um but she doesn't know what it is exactly which is gonna be pretty exciting so without further ado let's just go ahead and get these brakes and sensor replaced So now that the brake light is finally gone, this thing has zero lights on the dashboard. It's absolutely perfect. We literally got all the maintenance done on this car now. Fresh new tires, fresh oil change from BMW, literally like last week. And then now also fresh new front brake pads. Um, so now that this thing's good to go, uh, I'm gonna be taking this car to a polished place. My boy Jose is gonna go ahead and polish this entire car for us. Get this thing fully cleaned up. I rarely clean this car because I'm literally driving it 24 seven. I really don't care what happens to it. That's my daily driver. And uh, it's just been doing such a great job of it. But anyways, now I'm actually gonna take it to my boy Jose and he's actually gonna get this thing polished up for me. Um, get all these water stains out and just get it really, really, really nice and shiny. But before I actually do that, I do want to clean out everything that is in my possession of this car. Um, just kind of, you know, just getting it a whole lot cleaner, getting everything out, organizing everything. So when the new owner comes to check out the car, he will see a very clean and organized car. Yeah, 
man, I'm free, I wake up a new episode I pop a cleaners, keep me up a level though She talk to me like I'm not me, I get it though Yeah I'm so eclectic, I'm me to the credits Roll talk down to me, they might have to send medical I'm out there league, I'm OD, they pathetic though Look how I move, I'm protected Saw these souls wounding my presence The world going through it outside, they unruly But I keep it cool, they can't press me I keep it pure with intention They see what I'm on, they don't vex them I might slide through with that top down I keep it tuned with a high power Put it on me, I'm blessed Blessed Big bag, manifest the sky, no stress Keep no evil around me, can't ground me I built it since when I had less no hex on God can't pop. Look at how far we progress. Whatever we doing, we keeping it fluid. I don't see a threat. Buy that pain. On a jet, had a switch to the coast One of a kind, I've been playing that role They pay me to play me, I needed it for It's real if I said I meant what I spoke I'm legend, it's written, I shake up the city Spin block till I'm dizzy, won't ever go broke I'm chose, I must like the way that top down I keep in tune with a high power Put it on me, I'm blessed Blessed, big bag, manifest the sky No stress, keep no evil around me Can't ground me, I built it since when I had less No hex on God, can't pop Look at how far we progress Whatever we doing, we keeping it fluid I don't see a